Hello everyone, good morning, afternoon, or night to my fellow night owls out there. In fact, it's currently 1am right now as I film this June TBR video, which, <laughs> that might be a mistake. I somewhat have an idea on what I want to read, but also, what if I wake up in the morning full of regret? I wake up beside a TBR I don't remember being with the night before, like, it can happen to anyone. I mentioned in my previous video that I am bringing back monthly wrap-ups and TBR videos, so here we go, June. I'm here to show you my shaking fist in hopes that I can conquer the fork out of you by crushing my reading goals. And if you want to know if I did in fact kick June's reading ass, wow, be subscribed. It's just that big red button down there, easy peasy. Also, I'm kind of including my book haul in this video as well because all the books I am talking about today are books I've gotten recently and I don't want to be too redundant. So yes, I will be unboxing the May Outcrate at the end of this video, but to keep it interesting, Whatever book is inside, I'll be reading this month as well. Honestly, Outcrate books are really piling up, and as someone who doesn't reach for YA that often, we need to get the ball rolling. So, hopefully I can stick to the plan. We will just put this here for now. So, four books on my June TBR leaves it a little open for me to add more later. Let's start with the first one, which is... The Coward by my good old friend and fellow YouTuber actually, Stephen Aryan. I have been looking forward to this book ever since it was announced. Cover alone, it is one of the best cover designs Anger Robot has done in my opinion. I mean, just look at the spine. It has some heft to it, it has some clean and sharp edges, it almost screams like old school fantasy. In fact, the duology is called The Quest for Heroes, like how more classic can you get? So instead of your like gun-ho and brave protagonist, we essentially have one who is a coward the coward, and he becomes an accidental hero in the story as he gets caught up with a group of fighters. Steven's writing style is very easy to get into, and with his humor included, I'm sure this is going to be a really fun fantasy romp with a lot of character depth. Not too much romp, but just a little romp. I don't know, when I get like group of mercenary vibes from the synopsis and I see the words tavern, abandoned castles, slaying monsters, I get excited. And Steven basically wrote this for me. Like, I cracked the code. I'm dubbing out his secret to the world. He wrote this book with me in mind. It's impossible to, to consider the alternative. Next book I will be picking up in June is The Wolf and the Woodsman. Harper offered to send this beautiful copy my way. I am not a maniac. I could not refuse because I have been hearing great things about this one from a lot of authors that I love and follow. And if they loved it, then there's a high chance that I'm going to love it too. And plus, many of you have asked for a review on this one as you're excited as well. So that's what I'm going to do. It's a debut historical fantasy inspired by Hungarian history and and Jewish mythology. The country is haunted by an oppressive religious group and our protagonist must band with our village's sworn enemy to preserve the country. It's very much being marketed as Neo Minovic meets Catherine Arden, so I expect it to be probably, probably the opposite of the coward. Whimsical, lyrical, probably very fierce in its way of portraying atmosphere. Also heard it gets very dark and we all know darkness is my friend. I'm going to have the song stuck in my head now. Yeah, we will see how it holds up to the hype in my next wrap up. This is where things get tricky, but I'm pretty sure I've decided the next book I will for sure be reading in June, and that is The World Gives Way. I did not have any plans to read this one. In fact, I had the opportunity to get an early copy a couple months ago from Orbit, and I originally declined it. While the opportunity rose again, and in classic Holly fashion, I changed my mind. As a huge fan of the Fallout video game series, even Metro 2033, which, I mean, I have that freaking book, I should just read it to satisfy my thirst, I'm always looking for a good dystopian with those same vibes. And The World Gives Way just might give me what I seek, but with an added dose of sci-fi. Honestly, I just feel like it's not getting the hype it might deserve, so that's why I am here. It's why I exist on this planet, probably. <laughs> this dives into a story about a generation of people born on a spaceship disguised as a planet. Our main character is a contract worker on the run and the world is ending. I have so many questions that I hope can be answered when I read this. It sounds very different than anything I've ever read. Better be a five-star read. So those are three very different books I plan to read, but next, and this might shock all of you, I am craving a YA fantasy. And I am always on the hunt for that super rare golden egg, and I'm very grateful to be a rep 
for our crates to allow me to put on my treasure hunting gear and search far and wide for that five star YA book. So I will be reading whatever book is in this box. You can use my code Holly on your very first subscription. Now let's open it up and find out what I'm reading. Well, we'll never know. It's just black inside. What the heck is this? Okay, before we dive into that, I need to know what the theme was. Expect the unexpected. First up, we have this. Ooh, it's like a corduroy bag. I have overalls on this material because what Ohio person doesn't have overalls? We be shucking the corn all the time. Here's what it looks like. It also has a nifty zipper and it's inspired by the Illuminae Files trilogy. May we meet again on distant shores. Next we have whatever the heck this is. It says Rule of Wolves. Out of print books worn well. I'll create exclusive Oh, a square scarf. It's summer over here, honey. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. I wouldn't think these colors would work together, but they actually do. In the middle, it says we're all monsters now. Um, next, we have this box that I always forget, but they are currently doing a series of four bookish tens within the A Darker Shade of Magic series, and this is uh, the second one. Oh, and it actually might be my favorite so far. Here is what it looks like. There's the spine the back and you just open it oh i didn't even notice the spine that's really pretty there it is there's the inside the spine is my favorite part up next we have a metal bookmark that is double-sided here's the front here is the back so one side is inspired by scythe and the other side is inspired by the fifth season uh, designed by Pixel and Ink Creative. Up next, we have the most amazing freaking sticker ever. Oh my god, I love that. I need to know the artist immediately. It's inspired by the Gilded Wolves, and Lion in the Trees is the artist. That's so pretty. <gasps> I see the book. And I'm actually really excited about it. Okay, but up first, we have the monthly pin, which looks like that. What the heck does it say? Logic ends where love begins. Okay. <laughs> let's I normally love these pens, but let's go on to the book, which is uh, uh, uh. Get out of the way. Oh shoot. I gotta take it out of the plastic. Okay, the next book I am reading in June is The ones we're meant to find I had to look at the title because I totally forgot already which comes with a author letter right here. It also comes Oh Okay, really quick Come signed physically signed, but I just saw these end papers Ooh. Okay, so first off, can you see it? And papers, pretty. And then the naked hardback, pretty. So I think this is the book I mentioned in a monthly new releases video once that the cover does not look sci-fi, but it is a sci-fi YA book. It looks contemporary to me, but yeah, it's sci-fi. I believe it's about sisters who get separated or something like that. But I am very excited to read it. So yeah, that's my June TBR right there. So if you want to get your own Alcrate, use my code Holly. They make great gifts for your friends, family, and for yourself. But next month's theme is Go Your Own Way. That's what it looks like. And every single box is going to include an enamel item from Penali... Sundays? Did I? I butchered that for sure. Oh, Pine Alley. Wow. And that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up for me. Also, let me know down in the comments what books that you plan to read in June. I cannot believe we are almost half- well, we are. What the heck? We are halfway through the year. My brain is obviously very scattered. I am very excited for these four books. I will probably read more than that, but I might not because I have not been on my reading game lately, but I am very excited to be going back to monthly wrap-ups and TBRs, and I feel like that's really going to motivate me to pick more books up. So look forward to my wrap-up at the end of the month, and until we meet again, happy reading.